in this lesson we're going to work on the first step that will be getting the user information based on the user id so let's go to our routes okay we can use this method on both of these routes so let's begin with auth just like we can use these get and post methods with the router we can also use another method that's called param okay so router dot param and we're looking for the parameter in the incoming request url so anytime there is a parameter called user id we want to execute a method that will get um, the user information based on that user id it will make a query to the database and get the user information and append it to the request object okay so look for the user id parameter and execute this method called let's call it user by id okay now we need to create this method in a in one of our controller and for this purpose let's create a new controller called user controller because you don't want to put everything in auth let's keep it simple just uh, the core authentication stuff in this one like sign in sign up but anything else like user profile update and so on we will create a new controller for that okay so let's create a new controller let's call it user.js okay and the first thing you want to do is uh, imp, uh, require the user okay so if you go to the post here in fact if you go to the auth you can see we have previously done so so let's bring this in let's use that in here okay so we need the user and the method we're going to create we said that is going to be user by id right exports user by id okay so before we continue on this one let's go back to our routes and let me uh, load this controller so i can copy this paste here get rid of all of this and we're going to bring in the user by id method yeah and change this to user okay so from the user controller we are bringing in this method and using here that will execute whenever we encounter user id parameter in the router okay now we can go work on this uh, user controller here okay so exports user by id so this will take request response next and id as well so this id will be coming from the request parameter user id okay so here what we're going to do is we're going to find the user using find by id method okay so you can use this method with this uh, mongoose model so find by id and we give the id which will be coming from the request parameter called user id right then then we want to execute okay so we want to execute the method okay so this will take the function as an argument this uh, execute method okay so when we make this query user find by id we will either get user or we will get error right so error or user okay so first we handle the error so that it is out of the way so if error or no user so in that case what we want to do is we want to just give a simple json response so return response with status code of 400 with the json response of error that will say user not found okay so this way we handle the error but what if we got the user well in that case i would like to append that user which will contain the user information like email um, email name anything else right so we i want to take that user object and append it to the request okay so request i'm going to call it profile so this will add a new property called profile in the request object that will contain all the user information okay so let me add a comment here adds profile object in request with user info 
okay so once we open the user to the profile we want to execute next so that uh, our application go to the next phase right so anytime there is a user id in the parameter we will execute this method we get the user information opened to the your request profile and we let the application flow so let me go back to our routes here and let me add a bit of a comment here as well say any route containing user id our app will first execute user by id method okay now we can use this on the post as well okay so let's copy because this method can be used anywhere the way we're going to develop our app at the moment it is not necessary but let's have it here so that it is out of the way okay and then we can use it like so okay so any of the post routes any of the auth routes anytime there is user by id or the user id in the parameter this method will run and add the user info in the profile object okay so our first step is done okay now let's move on to the second and third step in the second video thank you